In this video, we're going to share with you why we left corporate America. And no, it's not just because we wanted to fire our bosses. We had several reasons that made it necessary for us to leave, and we have not regretted that decision yet. Some of these reasons you may be able to relate to, some you may not. The decision to leave corporate America requires a lot of planning and conviction. So hopefully this video helps you if you're at that same fork in the road. Hi, I'm Nadia. And I'm Nicole, and we are the Well Twins. And if you want to find out why we left corporate America, hit the like button so we can get started. The first reason why I left corporate America was really because I didn't love what I was doing. The reason why I didn't love what I was doing is because I didn't put any idea into what I would be doing for my first career. You see, our mother passed away right before we graduated college, and the first thing I needed to do was make money so that we can get our first apartment. Now, because of that, I needed to find a good paying job, and the first one I got was a good paying job, but it wasn't something that I loved. Now, on top of that, I didn't have time to even think about what would be the best career for me? I was just on automatic pilot. So because I didn't love what I was doing, it was not easy for me to get up in the morning, do my best, do everything I wanted to do to make that a career that I would stay in for long. To leave corporate America, the first thing I did was take a mini retirement so I could sit back and give myself some time to think about what I really wanted to do. And what I really wanted to do when I sat down and thought about it was to become an entrepreneur. So that mini retirement allowed me to actually think about my life, where I saw it headed and where I wanted it to be headed. And that to me was not in corporate America. My reason, my first reason for leaving corporate America was because as much as work-life balance is touted, it's not really put in practice, at least at the company I had worked with when I first started. So it wasn't uncommon for me to work 80, 90 hours a week. I had no life outside of the office. And this was not sustainable. I was paid on a salary, which may sound good, but depending on how much you make and how long you're working, a salary can actually be a disadvantage. I would have been paid more if I worked by the hour, believe me. I had no control over my time. I was always in the office working and I couldn't plan anything. So to make up for this, what would I do? When I had any time off, I would take some big trip, do a whirlwind trip and come back because I needed to be back in the office. I wanted to explore the countries that I visited more, but it wasn't possible to do more than three or four days at a time. And that wasn't something I really wanted to do for a longer period of time. I was trading my most valuable asset, and that was my youth and my life for someone else's profit. And that did not sit well with me, and I needed to make a change quick. The next reason I left corporate America is for a reason many people experience, and it needs to be talked about more and needs to be highlighted. One of the reasons I left corporate America was because of the microaggressions that I was getting on a constant basis. If it was me wearing a blue shirt and people confusing me as to working in the mailroom, or people assuming that I spoke a language because the other black people in the office spoke a language, or even when it came to how I wore my hair or the clothes that I wore. But those microaggressions started carving their way into me and, and infiltrating my soul. I always try to be Nicole first, but I know sometimes my race played a part in how other people perceived my performance and how other people perceived me. Choosing to leave corporate America was a personal decision that I thought would be best for my mental health. And I think it was the right decision for me. I hope that other people have an opportunity to take a better themselves rather than be placed in environments where microaggressions can happen. And I also hope that more diversity is actually celebrated rather than look upon as a negative. Now, just to follow up on that point with Nicole, one of the things that made me leave corporate America was that being an individual is not really looked upon as something as a good asset, which it really should be. You are forced to conform in some corporate environments. For instance, in the industries that we were involved in, they are dominated by white males. Now, as women of color, you cannot conform all the way to that point. It's up to a certain point that you can conform. Other than that, you looked as other, and it's not really something that is talked about a lot. Diversity is good in corporate America, and individualism is an asset. These are strengths that corporations can use rather than just buzzwords. So that was one of the reasons why I left corporate America. Now, I would like to make it clear regarding the racism that Nani and I had experienced in the workplace, we do not consider ourselves victims. Nani and I both did very well in corporate America, but truthfully, we just got tired. 
I know I got tired of just dealing with some nonsense. And I decided, you know what? It's best for me to walk away than to feel tired about it constantly. Now, my next reason for leaving corporate America was because I wanted to be there for my children. You see, I had my kids later on in life, and I wanted to make sure I was able to spend time with them. Now, I floated the idea of being a working mom, and I commend any woman who does that. When it came time for me to plan a family, I looked at other women in my industry at the same level or above, and I saw three things happen. The ones who decided that they were going to be working moms decided to quit after a couple of months of trying it because the job was too demanding. Others had decided, you know what, let me take a less demanding role and then I'll scale back on work, spend more time with my family. And others decided, you know what, I'm going to spend more time at work and then maybe hire someone else that can help me out with my family. All of these didn't seem like a right fit for me. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to take this time out, spend time with my family because this is what I wanted my mother to do. You see, I saw the sacrifices my mother did to make every school performance or PTA meeting. I wanted to be there for my children in order to be active in the classroom, go on field trips, because that was important to me. The third reason why I left corporate America is probably the biggest reason why is because I did not want to have regrets. I knew I could always come back to corporate America, but I didn't know how long I had to fulfill my dreams of entrepreneurship. I always thought, and ever since I was a young kid, I'd rather burn out than fade away. I guess you know that famous song. I can't even tell you what song it's from, but that line always stuck with me. I wanted to see what I could do. And if I failed, I knew corporate America would be a backup for me. So no regrets and take a chance on myself. Just a follow up on that point. When I was doing client work, I saw how much the corporation was charging the client for me to work there every day. And believe me, that was multiples over what I was actually getting paid. So that was another reason I decided to leave. Cause you know, I said, you know what? If they're charging this much for me, how much can I make for myself? Let's cut out the middleman. They're getting my labor, getting paid off my labor. I'm doing all the work. So why should another person be able to eat off of what I'm doing? So I decided, you know what? Make a bet on myself. I'm going and I can try. If anything, I can come back if I need to. Now I know this is not like a normal video from Nadia and Nicole, but we wanted to give you guys some real talk and an inside look at why we decided to leave corporate America and do what we felt was best for ourselves and for our family. Now, not to totally knock corporate America, we met some good people there. We learned a lot. That's where we cut our teeth. But what the work that we're doing now is more fulfilling for us. To be truthful, guys, we are spilling the tea on corporate America today, but the road that Nadia and I both took was the one less traveled and it's not an easy role and it might not be for everyone. So we will not knock corporate America. Do what you have to do to be great there. But on the flip side of that, we have to say we are helping more people than we ever thought we could have possibly could have when we were working in corporate America behind the scenes. So we thank everyone for watching our videos, for supporting us, for giving us encouragement. And if we have anything of value, we're going to share that with you to make sure that we can help you on your journey too. So. Thank you guys. Thank, Thank you, you for, for rocking with us.